I'm so hungry now. <laughs> so I cannot show my presentation because I don't have a bar. What should I do? <coughs> Eating something? But I have this one. What's this? Cup noodle. Cup noodle. Have you ever cup noodle? Sure. Eaten. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it? Yes. Why do you like? It's easy. Yeah. Very easy. Very fast. Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> very convenient. And very delicious. Do you want this? No! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Airplane. Yes, airplane. Who invented airplane? White or brother? That's right. Right <laughs> brother invented airplane. What's this? Apple. Yes. Who created Apple? Steve Jobs. Yes, of course. Steve Jobs. How about this? <laughs> Who invented cup noodle? <laughs> Why? See, all of them are great invention, right? Why you don't know? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> you should know who invented this. Who invented cup noodle? I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> who invented cup noodle? His name is Momoku Ando. He was born in Taiwan in 1910. He grew up in Boxy City, which is famous for salt industry. When he was 22, he established a textile company. And later, he moved his company to Osaka. And he lived in this small city, Ikeda. Actually, this small city is another person's hometown. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Very beautiful. <laughs> I will return to talk about him. In 1945, what happened? World War II finished. In the end of World War II, Osaka was bombed. Momofuku lost all his factories and offices, but fortunately, he survived. After the war, Momok started a business in salt industry, which is related to his hometown in Taiwan. This is the basis of his company, Nishin Foods. In around 1950, there was a serious food shortage in Japan. People relied on food aid from the USA. But the food are such as bread, biscuit, and a lot of flour. But these are not Japanese food. These are American food. So Momoku suggested the Japanese government. Japan should develop noodles which is a part of Asian culture. Momofuku thought bread is side dishes, but noodle includes soup and vegetables. That's why 
Noodles are more nutrition than bread. And Momoku started to research about noodles. He failed again and again to find a technology which was instant, but good for preservation and could be mass produced. One day, Momofuku saw his wife was cooking tempura, and suddenly he got an idea to invent how to dry deep fried noodles. So, Momofuku succeeded in invention chicken ramen, which is the first instant noodle in the world. As usual, men need women for good ideas. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> After that, Momok visit, visited the USA and Europe to expand his business to overseas. But Western and Asian food culture are very different because Western people don't use chopsticks and rice bowl. So Momofuku was considered how he can introduce instant noodles to overseas. One day, Momofuku told an American buyer was folding instant noodles. And put it in paper cup and eating using pork. This scene was he was surprised by this scene. And when he was in the airplane on his way home, he got an unexpected idea again. A macadamia nut was served to him. Momok thought he can introduce a cover of container. So he brought this to his company. The idea is always right under your nose. Look at here. You might find a good idea from your shoes, like this. <laughs> Eventually, Momoku invented cup noodle in Japan in 1971. This was first cup noodle in the world. And now, cup noodle become a world brand which is sold in over 80 countries in the world. I'd like to introduce some cup noodles from overseas. What is the representative food in India? Curry. Curry. Yes, curry. And there are a lot of vegetarians in India. So vegetable curry noodles is sold in India. What does Mexican food need? Tacos? What does tacos need? What come over here? Which sauce? Chili sauce. Chili sauce. Yeah! Salsa! Mexican noodle taste. Salsa! Which is the most famous food in Thailand? Tom Yam Tom Yam Tom Yam noodle is very popular in Thailand. Around 80% of Indonesia are Islam. But Islam people cannot eat pork. So <laughs> Cup noodle exclude exclude pork in Indonesia. Where is it? 
Original instant noodle. We can make our original food, noodle, instant noodle, from flour. This is our original instant noodle package. I went there with my friend. Which is the cute, cutest package? Third. Third. This one? Yes. This one? No. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. This is mine. <laughs> I drew this one. Cute chicken. <laughs> Which is the cutest? <laughs> Number 40. A 37. <laughs> yes. Thank you. This is me. I'm sorry, I will not talk about myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is Momofuku's monument. Mm -hmm. he, he's standing on cup noodle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In 2007, Momofuku passed away. He was 96 years old. Momofuku ate instant noodle for lunch every day until <laughs> the day before he passed away. <laughs> the New York Times said, appreciation to Mr. Noodle. I really thank him and I'm really proud of you as a neighbor. <laughs> Last year, Japan had a big earthquake and tsunami. A lot of people lost their house, their job, and even their family. The damage has not been recovered yet. Momofuku's company, Nishin Foods, provided a million of cup noodles to the location of the disaster. And the worker of his company went to the location to make instant noodles by this truck. Of course, people living in this the location are not okay. Their sadness is immeasurable. Many people couldn't eat anything for a while. When they ate cup noodles, 
they might felt better than before. I hope cup noodle made them happy even in an instant. I am an international student from Japan. I don't have time to cook every day. I don't have money to buy. I don't have money to go to restaurant every day. I don't have my mother in Toronto. But I have cup noodle. <laughs> <laughs> cup noodle needs only hot water. If you have hot water, you can eat cup noodle anywhere, anytime. Just put hot water in your hot cup noodle. Three minutes later, you will be happy. <laughs> His name, Momofuku, has a meaning in Japan. Momo means a hundred. Fuku means happiness. Momo gave us not only food, but also a lot of happiness. Enjoy your cup noodle! <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, when I was in university, <laughs> the parents of one of my best friends, who happens to be Chinese, gave me a whole case of instant noodles. They were very tasty. I eat them very often. That's it. <laughs> I didn't say every one of my stories was going to be hilarious and fun-filled and exciting. Sometimes, the mundane is fun. Or just like <laughs> Just say yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's hear from Michelle. Thank you for the presentation this evening. Um, with content, as it says, I found your content to be very educational and with the slides to support it. Definitely for myself, hearing it for the first time. I like it when there's new information to learn because then that helps you to see how supportive the content is to also the actual presentation features that you want to learn when you're going along with your actual experience of presentation skills. So that was very good. You had a good job at capturing your audience's attention at the beginning with a little bit of humor. I'm pretty sure they'll remember when you grabbed the box back. <laughs> And with that in mind, that synced in very much with your delivery. Because what I have here is, you know, you spoke very clearly. And you have a combination of humor, prop, gestures, and expressions. And that was well mastered. You had the whole combination of it. You had good use of questions to engage the audience throughout. So that brought a bit of the humor as well. And as part of us suggested, try not to allow yourself to be distracted. However, your presentation was kept in the room. It's, I don't know, Will, correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong. Well, there was a time I think you had the camera on her, and you kind of looked at him. Yeah, try not to be distracted, because that will happen many times in presentations in the future. And maybe you're going to have people just taking pictures, so just try and keep your eye on the audience. Just as a suggestion. And last but not least, your transitions were very clear. And that was, I like that. I like that, as he says, it's very good when you have transition because a good transition because then people can follow your story from beginning to end. All right? And there was something else I really like. Oh, you personalized it too with your slides. I like that. Yeah, you personalized it in the end. Very good. Thank Uh, I hope you're happy with that. Uh, I, I thought it was outstanding, it was cute and fun and uh, everything I knew it could be because when you brought this uh, idea of cup noodle for a five minute presentation, uh, we, as a class, we watched a short presentation and Chisako did this cup noodles and, and we all said, okay, you can do that for your 
your final presentation. It was that convincing and that informative. And a great example of when a specific item, a specific topic can speak to a universal. So uh, she's, she's, this is a great example of, uh, yeah, just uh, it's, it's, it had a little bit of science in there. It had some art. It had, you took us to space. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, we went on this journey through Cup of Noodles. And that's what I mean when content is well chosen. That's a great, uh, and then you have your personal connection that it's your hometown of the field. So yeah, just awesome, just outstanding. Um, uh, I, I think everyone's hungry now, so I don't want to. I don't want to talk <laughs> too much. Hey, listen, you told a lot of jokes, and you told one joke that wasn't quite as funny as you expected it to be. But what you did really well with your jokes is that you elicited, you elicited a reaction. What's uh, you you got a laugh when maybe there wasn't a laugh there, so you. You said, right, right? Yeah, that's, you, you, can, you can put a little pressure on the audience to get, to elicit the, the reaction that you're after. And I, I was really impressed with, at how you did that. Yeah, like, that was really good. That's, that's all, what it's all about. Um, hey, and, and, you know, uh, if telling bad jokes is, uh, you know, if the jokes don't uh, ever work every time, you know, Will would have stopped a long time ago, right? No, I wouldn't. No, okay. But that's the idea. Never give up. <laughs> anyway, Chisago, that was awesome. Thank you so much. I enjoyed it most uh, tonight. Yeah. yeah.